Well, let me show you the first scenario which there are three base stations and 15 users that uh, users are mobile that uh, you can see from the figure and the base stations are static here I uh, show you the connections when I don't use the rules and uh, p4 file let me choose uh, three different users here uh, this user is inside the user uh, the base station one and uh, it's uh, try to ping for example another users in base station two and it failed uh, here user four which is inside the base station two try to ping another user inside the base station three and it failed again and here user 8 uh, will try to ping to another user in base station 2 and it failed um, you know as we expect users who are under the coverage of different base stations cannot connect to each other because um, uh, we didn't uh, set any rules so uh, it is obvious here let me show you the next step where I installed the rules and base stations and actually created the connectivity and then uh, check the connectivity between uh, different users uh, so we should wait for a minute okay it's running and uh, okay I'll choose different users before uh, ping I'll show you the wireless connectivity between users and base stations this user is connect to uh, base station 1 with this MAC address and uh, here this user is connected to base station 2 and this user okay I should write it and this is connected to uh, base station 3 uh, let me show you the connections ping for example to another user in base station 2 and it work, works this user for example uh, try to ping to another user in base station 3 or in base station one and it works and here this user can connect to for example this one inside the base station two so the connections between base stations and the users uh, are created using uh, rules okay here in this step assume that uh, two base stations for example bs1 and bs3 are deactivated and failed for example this one and this one so i'll uh, send the uh, two drone base station where those uh, bs's are failed uh, as i've uh, mentioned um, earlier there are many deployment methods to find the optimal location and the optimal number of uh, drones uh, but for the simplicity i'll send the drones on the same locations uh, of the previous destroyed terrestrial base stations hello uh, so uh, let me uh, choose three users before stop the base stations let me uh, show you the wireless connections this user is connected to base station one and this user is connected to base station two and here this user is connected to base station three let me stop the uh, for example base station one and then base station three then check the okay here this user that was under the coverage of uh, base station one uh, now uh, 
uh, it's inside the coverage range of uh, drone based station one, which its MAC address is uh, this number. And this user will be under the coverage of drone two. So uh, let me check the connection and show it on the wire show and capture the packets. Here, for example, user one uh, try to, uh, for example, connect to user with IP address 13. And here, just try to ping the user, another user in, for example, under the coverage of DBS1. And here, this user like to connect to another user. Okay, let me show you and uh, capture the packets, for example, this one. You can see the user with IP number uh, 13, 10, and so on, and they are uh, replies, uh, reply and request. And uh, you can see they're here. Okay, let me stop it. Uh, well, I think some of you might be interested in knowing about uh, the mobility. Uh, for the mobility, we should use uh, the mobility function and actually start the mobility and then stop it. Uh, for example, for drones, uh, we should uh, set a first position and the second one and then uh, use the mobility function here. Uh, actually, we should start the, mobil uh, the mobility and with a start time and then stop it and uh, stop time. And this is the first location, this is the second location. So by doing this for um, all users, uh, we can have uh, mobile users and drones.